here we are, we're out here in Cambridge, 2023. The TV's cranking, we've got a little diamond happening in the middle of the uh, walkway here. We're gonna talk to people about animal rights. Let's go. Are you a vegan? Uh, vegetarian. Vegetarian? These are egg laying hens. This is the dairy industry. I'm vegetarian. Uh, no, this is the dairy industry. Whenever these places are investigated, when you're mass breeding animals, you're gonna have like horrible things happen. So what they do is they grab a male bull, extract semen from mm. the bull in a very yeah, weird, yeah. Yeah, yeah. bizarre, disgusting way. And then they get a big pipette. They stick their entire arm inside the anus yeah, yeah, yeah. of the cow yeah. to hold the cervix through the anal lining. And then they stick the pipette full of semen inside of her yeah, yeah. vagina. These are secret cameras because the industry don't show people. They know that people mostly have a heart, so they have to keep it secret. They rape these animals and they rape her continuously and they take her calf continuously mm. because they need to keep her pregnant to keep her producing milk. Yeah. She has a, a little girl calf. Yeah. They can produce milk, can't they? Mm -hmm because only the yeah. females can. Yeah. What happens when she has a boy calf? Uh, they will get uh, killed for meat or they can grow and become like for semen again. Or anyway, veal? they're gonna get killed anyway. Exactly. Because when the mom like, are not producing like milk anymore. They will get slaughtered. Mm. The mother has a long, slow life of pregnation, taking calves, and then she's, she's not useful anymore. Once she's not useful, she goes yeah, yeah, yeah. slaughterhouse, head cut off and minced into burgers. The dairy cows, go to the slaughterhouse and get eaten too. So vegetarians still have a part. So I've been vegan for 10 years. I will never touch any dairy or eggs because of what happens. It's the eggs as well, because they, they're producing these extra large eggs that are absolutely agony. Yeah, they, they get exhausted and they're... Everyone should at least buy like medium or small eggs if they're gonna buy eggs. Don't I don't think it's to do with how big they are. I think it's to do with the number of, of eggs they, they are selectively bred to lay. So they lay 300 a year when they usually in the wild would lay an egg a month or something like that. I've been in these egg farms and you see chickens just there. There's nothing left of them because they just laid egg after egg and they can't get any nutrition and they're just slowly suffering to death on the floor. And then they all go get gassed. I've got a friend where I used to work. She used to go and rescue uh, the chickens and she said it was incredible. They all knew the names. Um, she used to put ping pong balls out for them to play with. They used to play football with the, with the ping pong balls. Yeah, just like, they're smart. They're like any other animal. Yeah. But they've just been objectified to the point where people don't see them as another animal anymore. They see them as like... It suits them, doesn't it? it yeah, but look at the advertising. If you see like a chicken shop, there'll be a picture of a chicken. They're always like, like memed kind of thing. That, that's true. That's but true. they are just individuals that are bred into a system they didn't ask to be bred into. And then... It's not their fault. It's not their fault? It's not their fault. How do you feel looking at that? It's not nice, is it? It's not nice. Do you think animals should have rights? These animals? Absolutely. Like protecting them? Yeah. Yeah, because I don't just advocate against the torture and the welfare, yeah. also yeah. just killing them. Like even if they had a, a okay life, I think it's wrong just to, to murder them, really. Yeah. yeah. But the reason I talk to like people walking past is because when you go into the supermarket, you cause this to happen. There's a causal chain. When you take something off the shelf, they replace it. And where do they replace it from? Everyone has a part to play in what goes on on yeah. these screens. These evildoers are only doing it because people public. buy. People will buy. You know, I have no issue with people eating meat. They should be ethical. What is ethical? I just think when they've had a life. Your friend with the, the rescue chickens, those ones there, they're probably happy now. They're all answering to their names. So if I was to, to go and collect all them up and chop their heads off and eat them, would you think that would be ethical? Well, some would, some would think it was. No, you, no, just you personally. I wouldn't, personally, no. So that's different to what you said to me before. Yeah, I don't know, I just... <sighs> Uh, I just have a belief that some people, it doesn't matter what you do, will never stop eating meat. I know that. The only thing you can really truly do is explain to them, okay, are you happy to eat this meat knowing what's been through? Or would you be happier if somebody was to spend a little bit more money and a bit more time? You know, it's like Kobe beef, it's like all of those kind of things. You know, fed champagne strokes and they, they listen to classical music. Um, and those cows, yeah, people will still go and buy the best meat. Those cows have at least had three, four years of a decent life. Two years or something like that. Yeah. But, uh, but how, do, how do you know? What they do is that the, to lower the price, they treat them worse as well. Because you could treat them better, give them a good life and then kill them and, after. I know you're against Is that justified? Justified. Yeah. Like, is it justified to kill someone if you give them a good life? Um, well, someone that would refer to a human. No, I mean, like, like animals are sentient beings, individuals. So they have their own uh, preferences and yeah. like, they're not plants. They're not something. No. Well, do you think they're things? Some people do. Do you think animals are things? Well, I don't think they're humans. No, I didn't ask if they're human. I know they're not human. I asked uh, if they're... Thing, they're a being, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah but if they're not if a they thing. Refer to something like an object. I don't think they're objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think right. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if they're not an object, then they're someone. Yeah. So there's someone in. Think, yeah, well, yeah, or someone. Yeah. yeah well, there's someone yeah. experiencing their world. Like yeah. obviously, you're having both different subjective experiences right now. I'm having a subjective yeah, experience. Yeah. They're the individual having that experience. Yeah. So it's not just an animal suffering here. There's someone experiencing that suffering. If we gave them a good life, is it okay to kill them? Yeah. If we just want to eat them, I'm saying. Well, after they died, then I think it's okay to eat them. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be an animal rights violation, would it? No, I don't think so. So Because the thing is with humans as well, if you're an organ donor, then you're still using the organs from somebody who died. Yeah, consensually, and, and yeah. even if it was non-consensually, as long as the family didn't mind. Yeah. You know, I don't see an issue. That, yeah, that's yeah. not a human rights violation, is it? No, I don't think so. But shooting someone in the head to take their organs against their will, and then breeding more of them just to, to shoot them in the head and take their organs, even if you, if you gave them a good life, do you think that would be justified? Well, it's not justified, now. Yeah. So in the animal context... Yeah, that's the same thing, you know, it's, it's justified. Not, it's, no, not. it's not justified, yeah. yeah. If you ask people, uh, what, what meat do you eat? What, what eggs do you eat? Are oh, always humane, free range, grass fed. Because they're advertising to these yeah. uh, people, they don't know. We go in there with cameras, suffering birds, this and that. My position is it's unethical to, to kill an animal if there's no justifiable reason to. I think that's it's like murder. And uh, you can never be sure that the animals have been treated. They're units of production. You should go vegan. You know so much. You might as well be an activist. I don't know. Step by step, I want to like... How long ago did you go vegetarian? Five years. You said step by step. When's the next step? Yeah, I know. I don't know. To be honest, I'm not sure I will stop eggs. Why? Because like, uh, for example, my parents have like... Backyard eggs. Yeah, so for me, like, it's okay. Do you eat eggs outside your parents' house? Yes. Okay. But I, like, for example, when I buy cakes in the grocery store or something... You don't check? Yeah, I check. I want to make sure that we have free range eggs, for example, for biscuits or something. I don't want to buy when it's not. But you know, the, the problem with the egg industry is they put pushing so many eggs out, they become exhausted and they go to the slaughterhouse. Yes. You don't eat meat because you don't want animals to be slaughtered. Yeah, but, but it's... But eggs, yeah, egg laying hens still get slaughtered. I know, I know, I know. But you know, it's more like it's less direct. You, you know it's indirect, I mean. so it's easier yes, to do. Yes. Yeah. You stop eating meat, right? But as a vegetarian, because I talk to a lot of vegetarians and I'm always curious, how can they still eat eggs and dairy? Is there another level of disconnect because it's not... Yeah. It's not the meat. For me, I mean, I can't eat egg because I can't stand what I'm looking at, which is what should have been a chicken but unfertilized. But I can eat things with, with that in it because I don't make that same connection. I don't stroke eggs. It's not an animal. With exactly. It comes out of them. No, it comes out of an animal. I appreciate that. But for me, it just feels like it's not quite the same connection. Yeah. I can disconnect that, but only to the point that I don't think about it too much. This is not something you would see back in like maybe 2000 years ago when you know when yeah. we're nomad tribes then this this would never happen you know but i think if you go back 2000 years and to the real existence of a human now a human would live in the old days that's i think how we yeah, could have lived now. then you so let's humans. go back there we have some cows yeah, yeah. We, we, let's just say we have some potatoes and we, we're not in a survival starvation situation not we've got a choice to create crops and grow potatoes and yeah. plants and get our nutrition from plants yeah. and we have a choice to to raise cows give them good lives and shoot them all in the head yeah do you think that that's the right thing to do back then yeah i think so because that was to survive taking survival out of the picture but my question to you is do you want to go back to the way we lived back then like where we were raising animals and well, killing them clearly we can't but yeah. that way of living was a good but it was a justified, it was a good, it was a circle of life. So if we don't need to do it to survive, is it justifiable then? No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. You know, in Spain, they, they will they will have a pig in the village that they raise and that pig gets stroked and everyone plays with it and everyone loves it and all the children love it. And then one day they'll have a great big barbecue and the pig will be there being eaten. I've seen. Um, and that's really, really, really hard to get your head around, but it is part of they do it, their culture. Yeah. And they do it. The only benefit I can see from it is nothing's wasted. I mean, people I'm get fed, there are a few benefits, but I don't think the benefits outweigh the detriment, like the injustice. I mean, I could kill a person, I could say I ate them all, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer style, I don't know, nothing went to waste. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, exactly. But it is, it is ingrained, it is traditional, it's cultural, all those factors. Yeah. But that's why we just like, people like yourself, you do care. Yeah. I know we can't solve all the problems in the world, there's a lot of horrible things, but... If just everyone made a slight contribution, I think it's just everyone, you're gonna, you're gonna have, you know, 25% of the population who aren't interested, and that's fine, and you can't blame them for it. Yeah. But I just think if everyone else who can make a decision yeah. makes a decision, I think perhaps... The only people that we can count on are people like you, because you've already given yes, up me. I know. All these other people that don't care, uh -huh. we've got no hope, because we can't rely on like a lot of people, man, like mm -hmm. you, you at least, you, you have 
something there. Yeah. But then you put it to the side and say, next, uh, I'll, that's my first step, mm -hmm. step by step. But then 10 years go by. I always like to ask if people actually even care about animals. Some people don't. I think everyone knows back of their head it's wrong, but yeah. I mean, I think it's hard to implement change for many. Yeah. Right, we can, well, we could, <laughs> like, individually you can, but yeah. these things are major corporations which are... Of course, no, and, 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 you know, I can't stop all the wars, all the child abuse yeah. and all of that. So you're taking on the weight of the entire industry right now in yeah. your mind. Yeah. When I talk about, hey, don't murder people, yeah. You don't go, well, you're not going to stop all the murders, man. So I don't know if I go, uh, yeah. you know, I'm talking about personal accountability right yeah. now for what you do. No, that, that's a good argument. And no one's going to judge you out here for going and buying a steak. This is something that only you, your conscience can do. That's why it's a powerful thing. The more people that do change, like say you used to change today and you're like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not putting my money into supporting these industries. Yeah. And then you change 10 people over your life just by living yeah. that way and talking to people. You've made a massive impact. Yeah. Think about over the course of your entire lives, 30 years from now, how many animals have gone to the slaughter? House for you? Yeah, loads. Yeah. A few thousand, I don't really know the, the yeah. numbers, it's like got to be a lot. Yeah. And that's not just a slaughterhouse, it's suffering, it's cruelty, and things that you just put in the back of your mind. Yeah. There's no industry on earth that we do this to humans. There's no in legal industry on earth where we do anything like legal. this to It's not legal, no. No, yeah. this is legal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. illegally it happens. Yeah, you can talk about there's bad working conditions, things like that, but torture, slavery, and murder on a massive scale where we eat the victims, this is not happening to humans. No. No, and it's also not in our natural. <clears throat> instinct and when when war crimes happen when these murders happen to human beings it's a it's an outrage and it should be and we have human rights protecting yeah. us but bad yeah. things still happen they don't even have rights no i think that, that is a problem yeah they don't, well, have they don't want to change it i think because well, it's always the money isn't it yeah but who gives them the money yeah of course <laughs> well us and yeah hey, mm. yeah well, thank well, you you did yeah. You used to give them money. Thanks for showing this. Good to speak to you. It's good to keep talking to you too. Take care. See you later. Are you Jerry Carlstrom? Yes. Well, nice. Hello. Glad to you. Who are you? I'm Ellie. Hello, Ellie. Hello. Are you a vegan? Uh, you're going to hate me. I'm vegetarian. Oh, I know. That you caused what happened to the animals on the screen. I know. It's all on you. I know. <laughs> Not all on me. Yeah, no. <laughs> you, you alone. <laughs> now, when, when are you going to go vegan? Uh, I've tried. What happened? One day. One, well, what happened? I was a meat eater at the time, and I tried, and then ah, I now you're so. so now you went from meat eater to vegetarian. This is the middle ground for me. I'm doing okay. my best. Is it really your best? Okay. I'm vegan, and Small I'm. Step. You seem a lot more bright than me. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I'll get there one day. Yeah, maybe today. Maybe, maybe this is your sign, actually. Maybe it is. It is. Maybe, maybe your conscience been eating at you, and you're like, oh, maybe I'll see Joey Carbs from one day, and he'll tell me off. Okay. I'm going to France next week, so. You can, I mean, it's there's a lot of vegan. Any, ah, be, vegan in France, it, amazing. Where you in Paris? Vegan no, I'm going to South France. Use Happy Cow. Happy Cow. It's the best app ever. And you find vegan stuff everywhere. This is my issue. I've been to France before, and all I exist on is cheese and bread because that's all I can find. Happy Cow. Nice. Okay. Bless you. New vegan. Uh, Ellie the vegan. I'm going to change your Instagram handle. <laughs> <laughs>